Hi and welcome to another portion of this Smart Tool Jaguar two door wide body coupe of which I'm building. Today uh, I'm showing you the splitter I've made which uh, I intentionally designed the boot floor to build in this item. I'll uh, try and explain in some detail as what I'm doing the ideas behind it and this area here. On the Jaguar IRF rear independent uh, back axle um, they have inboard discs and they have a lot of trouble in the normal car cooling of the discs. If you look carefully you can see down to inside the car you can see the prop shaft tunnel in the background there where the discs sit just where these cutouts are. Uh, the idea of the rib is try and stabilise the air coming from the car which will help stabilise the car in theory and uh, I've made them wide enough to bring air through this area here. Now you were thinking well what about this area here? Well that area is for the exhaust to go in. I'm making an oval exhaust to sit in there and if you look carefully, I'll turn the camera angle up there and you see that there, you're wondering why that's different well, the idea is is this area here especially this will also be causing a negative pressure idea which will create a, a downward effect um, the idea is that there'll be a low pressure zone running at the back of here. So if we look at this angle here, so I'm all, I'm, the idea is there'll be a low pressure zone running around here as it uh, the air is exit, exiting the back of the car, or well, the car's cutting through the air, I should say. And the idea is that the exhaust that's sat there is in a negative zone which will, uh, the idea is it will help evacuate the exhaust system so the exhaust is going to be slightly set back, there will be a wall here but it will come over to the top round there and it will be angled slightly so it will evacuate so that's why that is, and like I say I will keep these areas open down here which will go down the back the exhaust will also go all the way down, it's not going to be around pat as I say it's oval, it's going to be box all the way down. Uh, so that's what I've been doing there, sorry for checking and all that. But I think let's just hold on see if we can get a good I think there. I think that looks quite good actually. Even though I do say so myself. But there you go, so that's that. I also had a gentleman pour a portion on was I gonna make the car stiffer? Um, well in the design as I built it, it naturally became stiffer because I made it into a two door coupe. So all this section here has rigidity to the you could say the rear of the car and then for the sill I made another box section so I added depth to the sill all the way down. Now the car when they built the Mark 1 Jaguar, sorry for the hand, when they built the Mark 1 Jaguar, they over engineered the structural integrity of the car. So it's actually a really strong car to start with, and when they built the Mark 2, they narrowed the pillars off because they knew they'd over overdone it a bit. And also, there's a complete chassis rail, I don't know if you've got to see it because it's now dark. No, you can't see you diddly swap there, but there's a chassis rail. And they run all the way, pardon me, front to back. I've reinforced all this area, obviously, for the IRS, which I explained in detail. But also, if we come down to the front here, that's a reinforcing brace which comes off the chassis rail. You see, you see right to the front. Box there as well. So it's triangulated there. 
obviously the same on the side. And originally, there was a box section that ran on the inside of the firewall all the way across to the side. So it's, it made that point and the other side like a kind of triangle as well. Engine being a somewhat integral member to stop it bowing at the bottom. But obviously you've got the floor and the sills and everything else that reinforce that. I cut that away to move the engine back 8 inches, so I braced it. And I've put it under tension as well. So it's actually, the car is quite strong. Also, on the Mark II Jaguar, like I said, they over-engineered it somewhat. These pillars are really tough. And here, the pillar goes all the way for the roof. That's the box section as well. So they really did go to town when they built these cars because it was the first monocoque construction Jaguar had uh, built and they didn't have the uh, finite element analysis software as they do today when they're designing cars and other things like that. So they had the mathematics they could work with but uh, it was still uh, quite an unknown science so they did go to town somewhat. So this car in and of itself is quite a rigid uh, tub now. A lot more rigid than the standard Mark II, that's for sure. Uh, obviously if I were to put a roll cage in it, that would uh, make it stronger again because it would become an integral part of the car, which I'd also have it fastened to the roof, which I don't seem to see any cars doing that. But I fasten it to the roof as well because the roof is an integral part of the structure, being a box. Anyway, so there you go. Oh, and uh, I'm not sure if I showed you. My battery box. I'm not sure. I told you I was doing these. I'm not sure if I showed you the battery box. If I did, sorry for whinging on, but there you go. But yeah, so Mark 2 Jaguar, two door wide body coupe with a splitter. That's different, isn't it? Thank you for all the positive comments, and I uh, hope you enjoy this one.